Shoo. So many things to draw these days. I hate you so much. Let me out. There we go. Okay, keep that in mind. I think this will look too bad. Maybe I should have just made the string be um, just one pixel thick instead of giving it an outline and whatnot. Oh. It's a jellyfish, actually. That bucket ring does not help them much. I <laughs> need my horrific acceleration. Gives me very little chance of escaping, though, regardless. Actually, I do need that. Is only down one hit, but still. I still find that horizontal movements are much more effective than vertical, even against more vertical looking um, sludge. Yeah, you have to be really careful. Yeah, you have to go basically to not get hit. You have to go straight, you have to do this dash straight through an enemy and actually make sure that you go straight through them. Like, you can't slow down at all. Thank you. Interesting. Nope. Oh, I don't know what I was trying to do. Dash up is not the solution here, apparently. Oh, um, good job, you two. Where's the place we need to be right now? Thank you for showing me nothing that I could actually see while I was on that tiki. Oh, here we go. Oh, I just now noticed the... I forgot we had that little wrist-mounted rocket on here. Patterns. You got a pattern might actually occasionally mean you got a pallet. It seemed to at least once, and by at least once I mean exactly once, considering that a, a pallet once appeared and I was never told about anything other than a pallet. Oh man. I think I just did a little sequence breaking here actually. Pirate beard. Not black beard, just beard. You couldn't fit black beard on the text box. Do we really want to invite pirates to our village? Not to like be discriminatory or anything, but. Uh, thank you. That seems explicitly not in our interest. Game. They just respawn immediately. <laughs> or was that guy already there or did they respawn immediately? Like, nice job falling through the floor. But yeah, this is just a nuisance. Doing anything underwater. I'm gonna be really happy to be done with this area. This game has not made any progress on the whole water levels are always terrible thing. Being underwater is awful in this game, too. Mm 
So I know there's an enemy there. I hate that your ranged attack can only hit things that are on screen. Alright. I saw a pirate no beard here at least. Yeah, I forgot, you have to move in a direction to do the flip for some reason, which is really strange to me. Yeah, that's a very precise bounce. Nice. Up. I don't know why I'm not doing that more. Because I can't hit them anyway because they're not on screen. Yeah, I admit I haven't been doing the best job of aiming. Okay, so up there I've seen. I don't know if I've done everything up there, but I've been there. to just now, but sure. Don't want to take that conch just yet, I don't think. This is where the other Tiki took me, right? Thank you for only deciding to fall off that ledge just now. And here I've already been. Okay. So I think we've got everything here. Appreciate that those Tiki's keep appearing, because I put a lot of time into that thing. Lack of shades of gray issue aside, I think it looks good. It's very recognizably the the thing it's supposed to be. Not sure that's going to cost a fall. Interesting. This thing, okay. I don't know why that makes you bounce when you land. It's very strange to me. So far, there aren't any actual secrets in here where you can permanently miss the thing. Well, semi-permanently. You'd have to reset the room or die or something. Okay, so now I can go up there. I can't just lands on the water. Hey. So it's, it's a... Yeah, I've kind of a... Oh, come on! Flatline attack, so to speak. But, uh... It's not a very good one. So it's worth something, but it doesn't make you just... It doesn't solve the problem of being stuck in the arc or corridors or anything. You're still at a disadvantage there if you don't have ammunition. Here, of course, I'm just trying to save my ammunition as much as I can. Now then... What did this open up? Oh, something fairly important. Alright, so there's still one secret to get here, too. So one of everything I'll have to get, I think. Stop it. I hate that, uh... That ceiling placement. I'm looking for a place to end the episode at this point, because this is the end of the recording session. I'd also prefer not to end the episode like where I, might, where I might just die immediately. And my ability to look up in a way that's not gonna endanger me is extremely limited. Movement is awkward, aiming at things is awkward. I can see very little. 
everything is harder down here. Where it's better is absolutely not where it's better. You know what? There. Interesting. Do I want to? I just came from here, right? Yeah. There's only that's like a progress me in the left, like. Go left there. Like, this is forwards at a level, right? Not by. Okay, so I still need to go that way, anyways. Okay, but this is actually a really good spot, because that's gonna be the very beginning of a new area. <laughs> okay, that's how rocks work. Thank you. Die in here, please. Hey, Cloud. This would be a really good time to use that dash, actually, but. I just want to fish this one little area. There you go, that helps too. So does that increase my maximum running speed? I feel like it doesn't. It just puts me to my maximum running speed pretty quickly. Okay. Okay, anyways, pick up whatever's on the left here and then we can get going. Fantastic. Alright, so one person to find and one secret to find then. Yeah. It helps a lot to jump right as you do that. Alright, so next time. Those guys died. Next time. Maybe the last area here? We'll see. Yeah, everyone.